for Sony Xperia 1 Mark V you can have the display in 4K mode all the time starting with Android 15 you have the option to change the display settings so that it will force it to be in 4K mode before so starting with Android 15 you have the setting on the display to have force it to be in 4K mode all the time before it was switching to the HD version kind of and then only to 4K when it needed so I don't know when it needed to do that and I will show you how to do that, it's really easy. So this is Sony Xperia 1 Mark V and I go to settings in the settings page you go to display and one thing to, to try actually is to increase the refresh rate this will also decrease battery life so if you want maximum battery life keep the high refresh rate setting off but if you want better scrolling performance if you want better scrolling performance the the refresh rate maybe it's a nice option but what's new now that was already there in android 14 what's new in android 15 here now we have screen resolution so on the display on the display settings on the last option is here almost the last option under the display settings almost the last option here is the screen resolution once you open the screen resolution page you have this beautiful display beautiful screen where it gives you the option to use the full resolution of this panel this display here is 4k but most of the time to save battery it uses the high resolution which is 1096 by 2560 so kind of hd kind of or you can say to 4k 1644 by 3840 not exactly 4K because it's the height is correct for the this the long number the width of the the phone like if you would have it like this this is the width is correct 4K 3840 but the height should be two something but that's because of the aspect ratio the Sony Xperia One Mark V One Five has an aspect ratio of 21 by one not 16 by nine. So it will increase, it will reduce this number. They didn't make it this number to be correct with 4K, but I guess that would make it higher. I'm not sure. Normally, what I, maybe that would have been uh, uh, higher than 4K DCI, I think that's how it's called. So at full resolution, you can switch between them. I really can't tell the difference between them. And I want to try something. I have a magnifier glass here. I want to try to see if there is any difference. So now the screen is full, full speed, 120 hertz at 4K. The thing is the, okay, so the camera now is zoomed in really all the way. And maybe, yeah, it doesn't show this uh, moire effect on it. It's focusing on the screen, but it doesn't show that the pixels on the on the phone before they were showing like that. So I will try. I'll try now to switch to to the HD. Let's have a look at it. I think it's the same, really. I can't tell the difference. Four K should be double the size of four K. Four K should be double the size of Full HD or four times the size. I don't really know about that much. Like if you want to see the details of these apps here, so I really. I really can't I really can't tell <laughs> I really can't tell the difference. So let's switch it back to full resolution. And this is in full resolution. Maybe this these apps here, maybe they are a little bit clearer. Could it be? So I will well, let's look at these apps. This. So let's look at these apps here. Maybe they are a little bit clearer. And the text there. So this is the 4K. 
the full resolution as close to the camera as possible. And now let's switch it to high resolution. You can tell that it's doing something when it's switching. And let's get closer to also. Really, I think it's the same. So that's the minimum focus distance. Seems the same to me. I guess if you want to feel good about it, it's 4K. So now, no, it was high resolution. So now it's, uh, I want to try the magnifying glass. Let's, let's try it. Okay, I dropped the microphone. I hope it still works, still records. So I'll, I'll use the magnifier glass from the Victorinox Explorer. And let's see now the pixels really close. And I think manual focus. I should use manual focus with this one. Now is the high resolution. I think with the magnifier glass, you can actually see some lines because of the resolution because it's the panel you can see the panel lines on it i think but really the resolution of the icon seems very similar i really can't tell the difference maybe it's really the same i will see it later on the computer if it's really the same now it's now it's hd now is the hd resolution on this and on the text and on the small icons there the HD resolution focused minimum focus distance is manual focus I think on the green icon you can see a little bit of that moire effect because of the panel of the panel LED Pixels display, kind of, let's see that, I think that more effect, you can see it. Maybe that one, that's the difference. Now I put it back to full resolution and it's the same thing. So now it's full resolution. I really, I really believe it's the same thing. Maybe it's not even working. So I understand why they got rid of the 4K display. But it's a nice thing to know that your phone has a 4K display and it's always 4K, I guess. But it might really use a lot of battery. This could really show a difference on the big screen. Now I'm just looking on the camera screen. So I will compare, I will show like now I will show the HD from the previous recording as sharp as I could get it with the magnifier. And now I will show the 4K. So I could show them side by side next to each other, 4K and the HD. So you can decide by yourself if it's, there is any difference. So one last switch back to one last switch back to uh, HD resolution. This is the HD resolution for the apps there to compare it. So really I will show it together. On the left it will be on the left it will be the HD resolution. On the right side it will be the 4K. Or no. I will now I will show you uh, now I will show you on the screen on the left and right now I'll show you on the screen on the left and right both of these options and you tell me which one it is. Which one do you think it's the HD and which one do you think it's the 4K display. So I have the 4K display that can go into full HD mode or full 4K mode. And with the magnifier I go really close to the these little app icons in a folder and this should tell you which one is 4k and which one is full hd you tell me if it's the left one or the right one and if you guess we could do a little game here we could do a little game here you 
say your guess in the comment section below if you say 4k is the right one or 4k is the left one or hd is the right one or hd is the left one please don't say 4k is the right one and the uh, full hd is the right one <laughs> try to make a guess which one is 4k which one is hd the left one or the right one and at the end of the video i will show you on the screen which one is actually 4k but maybe i don't show you so you can decide for yourself i really i can't tell the difference but this i believe okay i will show you right now so the left one is the full hd and the right one is the 4k so did you guess it if you guessed it right you really have good eyes but really maybe it shows better on the screen because on the camera i'm looking at now can't tell any difference thanks for watching so now the phone is i was using this magnifier okay yeah i can't focus too too close to it like this Something like that. So this is the display now and as you see high resolution, now full resolution, the same display. I think it's very similar, it's very hard to tell. It's up to you if you use the 4K or not, but it's nice to try it and see how the battery is doing. But especially the the 120 hertz mode is really nice. If the battery is depleted too fast, you can always switch it off. So yeah, that's a nice option to have to be able to choose if you want 4K all the time or no. Thanks for watching.